Motivation. This is the first por portion of the, of the conversion formula. And what motivation is, is everything that comes with us in terms of history, in terms of needs, in terms of wants and wills, that is just there, right? So motivation is, let me take the example of me, mm, let's say I need to go to the toilet, right? I need to go piss. In the beginning, my motivation is not that strong, so I can wait until I find a perfect toilet to go to. But as I, you know, that need grows and grows and grows and grows within me, I will start becoming less and less picky, right? So eventually, I might even embarrass myself in public because I can't just hold it in. That's my motivation, right? So I'm motivated enough to do something. And in terms of a product, in terms of brand preference, sometimes we just want a pair of Levi's in front of a pair of Lee jeans, right? We want a Pepsi instead of a Coke. We want a Ferrari instead of a Lamborghini, right? That motivation has really no explanation other than it stems from our needs to sort of, you know, either impress someone or because we believe that I, that's our preference, we have a relationship with them or something like that. So that's motivation. Everything that goes into, you know, our need and driving forces to make a conversion. Now, in order to build motivation in a person, we need to understand that uh, motivation is built on three distinct need types, functional, social and emotional needs. But we will get into those later because they're very, very, you know, particular in the way that they're built. So I would like you to, to just think about motivation as a, you know, a factor that you can only um, change if you change the perception of your brand. And so it's the default. That's where you start. So that's it. Motivation. It's everything that you need or your consumer or your receiver of your message has to begin with. Now you can use the other properties in order to persuade them to actually uh, convert despite what their need is.